and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny, this is Jenny Reads Maybe, where maybe I read or maybe I don't. So today I am going to be doing a These Books Will Self-Destruct in a Year. I have 10 books that I have to read by February 12th, 2024, or I have to unhaul them. So I will go through them. I just kind of randomly picked ones on my shelf. There are several blue books in here, surprisingly. I have a lot of blue books, apparently. But to start, I will do my first one, and that is The Stand-In by Lily Chu. And so this one says, How to Upend Your Life, Get Fired by Gross Handsy Boss, Fail to Do Laundry Again, Be Mistaken for Famous Chinese Actress, Fall Head First into a Glitzy New World. And so I think what this is, is somewhat like um, the Selena Gomez movie, Monte Carlo, um, with romance added in. So I have been wanting to get to this since I got it in the Read Romance Repeat book box last year. But now I have a set date that I have to get to it by. The next one is By Any Other Name by Lauren Kate. I haven't heard many people talk about this. I believe that he is the devil. I don't know. No, maybe not. Let's see. It says, with a successful career as a romance editor and an engagement to a man who checks off all 99 boxes on her carefully curated list, Lainey's more than good. She's killing it. Then she's given the opportunity of a lifetime to work with world-renowned author and her biggest inspiration in love and life, the Noah Calloway. All Lainey has to do is cure Noah's writing block and she'll get the promotion she's always dreamed of. And there's a reason why nobody's ever seen or spoken to him. Okay. Okay, maybe I did not know what this was about, but I do love a book about writers so hopefully I will get to this in a year. Next one is I Kissed a Girl by Jeanette Alexander. All I know is that it's sapphic and it is a celebrity romance. Um, I don't really need to know much more. Um, oh this one has a character named Noah as well so I'm excited. I have had this probably since it came out. It's been a long time since I got it and I just haven't picked it up. So on the list. Next is Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet Cross. So in October, I tried to read this. I ended up DNFing it temporarily just because I wasn't into it. But since then, I've heard good things about this book and this series. So I just really want to get back into it. From what I remember, he is a werewolf and she is a witch in New Orleans and they aren't supposed to have any sort of relationship or anything going on because of the rules of the supernatural creatures in New Orleans and they get involved and he has a curse on him where he is unable to shift and it gets in the way of his anger and moods so she is going to help him figure out what is going on all well it's a forbidden romance so i am looking forward to hope of uh, hopefully getting back into this and finishing it next i have before we drowned by ashley ray i don't know anything about this i think i bought it after seeing it one time on tiktok um but in sunny southern california jordan has been relying on partying to guide her through life Alongside her brother and best friends, between surfing, boating, and beach days, her time is spent engaging in reckless activities and love interests who make her feel less than, make her feel less than. Having built up strong walls around her, she's happy with the limited people that she has let inside until she meets Adrian. Adrian lives for himself, letting his now or never mentality rule his actions and beliefs. And he has dark trauma and past betrayals, and he's had to learn to fend for himself from a young age. They all are warning her to stay away and obviously they're going to fall in love. So another forbidden one. I really like the cover and the title and just the idea of it. So I'm excited. 
I think I follow the author or something, but it looks really good. So next, again, another blue book is It Happened One Midnight by Serana DeWild. Um, this is actually part of a series and this is not the first book and I don't have the first book, but I am learning to read books out of order if they're interconnected standalones. So I'm hoping this is one of those instances but I believe it's a Cinderella retelling, I think, hopefully. There's a fiance. And I think the fairy godmothers are magical or so, I don't know. I really knew nothing about it. I just thought it looked cool. And I love a good princess retelling. So that is the next book. Following that, another blue book again is Getting His Game Back by Gia de Cadenet. Cadene. I don't know much about this other than there's basketball involved, um, but it's a sexy, charming debut romance about a man struggling to be his perfect self and a woman who is ready to break her rules for him. Perfect for readers of The Wedding Day and Get a Life Chloe Brown. I love Get a Life Chloe Brown, so I'm hopeful. It looks like it's going to be cute. It's emotional, steamy, and sweet. Okay. Okay. Next up is, oh my gosh, if I can get it out, Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. This is another book I believe I've had since it came out. And I've heard a lot of good things about this author and this book as well. So I've been wanting to get to it. I just have never had the time or the energy to pick it up. It's pretty thick for a romance, but it's not actually as long as the thickness looks like it is. Um, but I know that a wrong number is involved and she receives a text saying, what are you wearing from a random number? And then it keeps going and ends up being brother's best friend, I think. Yes, brother's best friend, hidden identity. They look fun. It looks good. I am excited. So this I'm probably going to pick up soon, being real after reading that. Next is The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. I have heard many good things about this when it first came out, but I just never ended up picking it up because I didn't, I guess, want to or anything. So I know that there is a ghost and it's a paranormal romance and there's a book involved and it just looks... It looks cute. I love like the little books and I love that it's at HEA because I was worried because there's a ghost involved but that's all I know about this and all I really want to know. So the last book on my these books will self-destruct in a year is Donut Fall in Love by Jackie Lau and this is about an actor falling in love with a baker and there's a cooking show, which actually tends to be a trope. I tend to really enjoy. I do love cooking show romances. And I do just generally love cooking involved in romances. So they're going to bond over grief, which sounds emotional. It's another pretty thick romance. It's over 350 pages. Not super long, but intimidating. So that is it. That is my last book on this list. So as I said in the beginning, I have until February 12th, 2024 to read all of these books. I will hopefully be vlogging as I read each book. That way you guys can kind of get a peek at what happens. And yeah, so I will see you guys later. If you would like to comment below if you've read any of these books or what your thoughts are on self-destruct videos. So that's it for me today. I will see you guys at a later date. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe below. Living life every day, later die.